gang, Matt Shibley here, reddeltaproject.com. Before I begin, don't forget my first book is out on fitness independence. Link down below on Amazon on ebook format. Uh, but today I'm bringing you 10 reasons why you should be squatting every single day. Let's jump to it. Number one, hip mobility. Hip mobility is huge. You've got to be able to stretch the distance between your glutes and your hamstrings, which is why so many people, they don't squat very deep or they can't squat without seriously rounding their backs. Second, ankle mobility. Bring that shin way forward when you're squatting. Open up the back of the ankles as much as possible. Gonna be very key in helping you get more range of motion again. Side hip activation. A lot of your ability to have strong legs depends on your, um, your abductors, the muscles on the sides of the hips. You can engage them to a greater degree. Knee health. Your knees, right, they're like any other joint. If you're always using them in a very tiny, short range of motion all the time, then it's going to be detrimental in the long run and cause problems. Uh, flexibility, big mobility in general. The squat is one of the best flexibility and mobility exercises you can do, bar none, for your lower body. Base of strength, the base of strength is something that I call where basically you have the ability to move your body kind of a crossways format. You can go to the right, you can go to the left, you can go forward, you can go back. So when you're squatting, it doesn't feel like you're trying to move just up and down on a very narrow vertical uh, plane of motion. You can basically handle yourself with any sort of position that you may find yourself when you're walking down a steep rocky trail or, or whatnot. Uh, glute uh, amnesia, gluteal amnesia. This is something I suffer from, a lot of people suffer from. The bottom of a squat, your glutes should be on. But a lot of times we feel like we squat down and the glutes kind of turn on off. Hamstring activation, same exact thing. Hamstrings uh, are very seriously involved with squats and squats are one of the best hamstring exercises you'll ever do. Uh, anterior tibialis activation, the muscles in your shin. So coupling this with the ankle mobility, your shin muscles should be holding your shin forward as you are squatting. Oh, and yeah, that little thing uh, last, but it's not worth mentioning. Build more muscle, build more strength, increase performance, burn more fat, decrease injury, all those little things that really no one really cares about. So these reasons and more. Now, I'm not talking about barbell heavy ass strength training here. I'm talking the motion of the squat. The squat isn't a weightlifting exercise. It's a movement that we are built for that we should be doing every day. Now, the ironic thing is, so many people talk about squatting as, as if you're sitting back in a chair, but all of this is actually undoing the damage we have from sitting all day, which is why we wanna do it every single day because you're not going to be able to get a lot of this stuff nearly to the degree you would if you had a regular like squat routine that you're only doing once or twice a week for two or three sets of 10. Squatting every single day, throughout the day, don't worry, don't overthink it, it's not a routine or anything, but get the motion going, shift your weight back and forth, front, back, build that base of strength, wide squats, narrow squats, single leg squats, any kind of squats that you can think of, but do it throughout the day, and you're gonna build all of this in spades, and you know, get all this other stuff here at the bottom as well. Let me know if you have questions below. Be fit, live free.